Dear students, today we go for a new topic, general principles and processes of isolation of elements. We know that hardly few elements such as gold, silver or platinum are available in free state. The separation of such metals is not so difficult. But the thing is, maximum of the metals which are present in combined state, for example, iron, which is combined with oxygen, gives hematite and magnetite, zinc combined with sulfur, carbon, and uh, so oxygen, etc. So, when such a case, to separate the metal from their combined state, we need certain principles and certain techniques. That study of the principles and processes for the separation of metals from their combined state is the study of general principles and processes of isolation of elements. Before going to the topic in detail, we will go for a certain terms involved in the technique. First, we will try to understand this isolation of elements is also called as metallurgy because the metallurgy is nothing but the extraction of metal by using certain scientific techniques and principles. That's why the process of metallurgy and isolation should be such that it is chemically feasible and commercially viable. Now let us go for certain terms which are used in the isolation of elements. First one, minerals. We know that the minerals are the chemical substances which are present in the earth crust. If they are present in the earth crust, means we have to extract it. How to, how to extract them? That is by mining. Hence, the minerals which are the naturally occurring chemical substances in the earth crust obtained by mining. Obtained by mining. Or simply can remember, minerals are the chemical substances present in the earth crust are obtained by mining. Entire minerals we cannot use for the extraction of metals because we have to go for scientific technique and commercially viable as well as chemically feasible. Based on the condition, we have to use hardly few minerals for the extraction of metal. Such minerals are called as ores or the ores which are, are the minerals from which the metals can be separated. These ores, definitely they are not pure. They contain a large number of impurities. Those impurities or the undesired material present in the ores are called as gang. This gang has to be removed before separation of the metals from their ores. That is done by adding a suitable reagent called as flux. When gang combines with the flux, gives slack. Once we separate the gang particle from the ores, we have to go for the extraction of metal, but not so easy. That's what the systematic method involved in the extraction of metals are first one is concentration of the ore, nothing but the impurity present in the ore is removed or the removal of the impurities present in the ore is called as concentration. Then after removal of the impurities, our target duty is to separate metals from the concentrated ore. Once we get the metal, that metal is not pure, it has large number of impurities. Removal of such impurities are from the metal are called as purification of metal. These techniques or the entire scientific and technological process used for isolation of the metal from its ores is known as metallurgy. That's what I said in the beginning. Metallurgy it is a scientific method and which involves a technological process for the separation of metals. The entire process, concentration, isolation of metal and purification of metal, this entire process is simply we can call it as what? Metallurgy. Then we can go for occurrence of metals. 
the elements which are varied in abundance that means availability is different among metal aluminum is the most abundant among the metals aluminum is the most abundant it is the third most abundant element in the earth crust it's a major component of many igneous minerals including mica and clays many gemstones are impure forms of alumina and the impurity ranges from chromium to cobalt chromium to cobalt iron is the second most abundant metal in the earth crust it forms a variety of compounds and their various uses make it a very important element you know that a large number of uses of iron it is one of the essential elements in biological systems as well now you can go for certain metals and whose chief ores and their compositions aluminum whose chief ore is bauxite whose composition is al ox oh3 minus 2x coalite it's a form of clay al2oh4 si2o5 iron its chief ore is hematite fe2o3 magnetite fe3o4 siderite feco3 iron pyrites fes2 another metal copper its chief ore copper pyrites cu fes2 malachite cu2o3 cuo twice cuprite cu2o copper glands cu2s zinc its chief ore zinc blend zns calamine znco3 zincite zno these are the some metals whose ores matlab chief ores and their composition now you can move on to the concentration of ores already said from minerals we will separate ores those ores which contain large number of impurities our target is to separate those impurities that remove of the unwanted particle or the impurities from the ores is called as concentration of ores or also called dressing or benefaction remember concentration is nothing but the removal of the or gang or the unwanted impurities present in the ores impurities present in the ores the concentration of the ores which clearly depends on the difference in the physical properties of the compound nothing but the type of the impurity or the type of the metal present in the ore whether the impurity is magnet or the metal is magnet or the metal is heavier or the uh, impurity is heavier based on that physical difference physical properties of we are choosing here so based on that we will have uh, different uh, methods of concentration we will go one by one first you can go for hydraulic washing this hydraulic washing is also called as gravity separation method here nothing but it, this method which clearly depends on the weight of the impurities and weight of the ores that means gravity of the impurities as well as the gravity of the ores when we can apply hydraulic washing when the gravity or the weight of the impurities weight of the impurities are much less than the weight of the ores weight of the ores then we can apply what hydraulic washing therefore you can see in one such process upward stream of running water is used to wash the powder ore lighter gang particle that's what i said weight of the impurity must be less or lighter gang particle are washed away and heavier ores are left behind see my take a diagram you observe here finely powdered ore is introduced from the top of the furnace and stream of water is passed from the bottom 
and thoroughly washed here already said the weight of the ore is heavier and the impurities are lighter since the weight of the impurities are lighter they are washed away from the top whereas the ore is heavier it settles at the bottom this is hydraulic washing another method is magnetic separation method the condition here in magnetic separation is either the ore particles or the gang particle must be magnet but not both are magnet this is the condition you have to remember either ore or the impurity present in it or is the magnet but not both are magnet that is if either the ore or the gang one of these two is capable of being attracted nothing but which is like that by a magnetic field then such separations are carried out the ground or finely powdered ore is carried on a conveyor belt which passes on a magnetic roller schematic diagram you observe here out of the two wheels one wheel or one roller is a magnet the other one is non magnetic a brass belt is placed here finely powdered ore is introduced on the non magnetic wheel when it is reached to the magnetic wheel already said out of the two thing one is a gang present in it or the ore should be magnet which is magnet is attracted by the magnetic wheel and which is non magnetic which is thrown away if suppose the magnetic means the ore is magnetic then it is attracted by the magnetic field and ore comes here the then impurities are non magnetic which is thrown away hence magnetic and non magnetic particles are separated by this method 